How often do you pass on buying an apple that's not perfectly round or strawberries that don't look red enough? Rob, reporter Amber Kawaji looked into how ugly food is overlooked by consumers and what ASU School of Sustainability is doing to give ugly food a makeover. This food is food that would normally not be sold because it has like superficial uh, blemishes or something that make it doesn't look, the appearance doesn't look good, but the food itself is perfectly fine. ASU's School of Sustainability celebrated its 10 year anniversary complete with an ugly food lunch, an entire picnic made from produce that would otherwise not make it to grocers shelves. But not all ugly foods are so lucky. Billions of pounds wind up in landfills instead of on people's plates. Take this apple, for instance. It's not perfectly round, and for some consumers, it might deter them from buying it. But what ASU School of Sustainability wants people to know is that it may not look pretty, but it's still good. 15% of households nearly in the U.S. who are food insecure. So connecting these dots is the sort of systemic problem in food systems that the School of Sustainability, the Global Institute of Sustainability, is interested in dealing with. Many local growers know which specific fruits and vegetables won't make the cut and either donate the ugly food to charities or use the produce as compost. Looking at the ugly food gracing these plates, diners would never know their fruits and veggies started out too ugly to be sold in stores. I wouldn't know the difference. It was a delicious plate of food, so I was happy as a student especially. We all love free food here at ASU. So. A harvest enough to feed some 500 people. In Tempe, Amber Kawaji, Cronkite News. Last month, National Geographic even noted that one third of the country's food goes to waste because of its looks. That's enough to feed two billion people.